Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you some cool tricks on resizing your columns and your rows. Mostly columns because rows usually are fine, but columns often need to be adjusted based on the size of what's in those columns. Okay, So if we have a table like this and we've inherited it from a coworker or a classmate, or we just were working on it and we didn't have time to uh, properly uh, resize the column so everything's legible and clean and good looking. Um, we can actually do this one by one, I'm sure as everyone has, has seen. You can go up here in between the columns and you'll get this kind of indicator. And you can grab that, click and hold and move that around. And you can do that with every column as well as every row. Okay. Now, what if you want to be able to, to do all of these columns at the same time? Not only that, but you also want to be able to ha make them all the same exact size for visually appealing purposes. What you can do is you can highlight all the columns you're interested in resizing by grabbing them from the actual letters and then go in between any of the columns. Just like we resize the single column, you can go in between any of the columns and take it to exactly where you like it and then let go. And you see all of the columns became that same exact size. Another method which can be used whether you're resizing a single column or a group of columns is that you can go in between the same spot but instead of grabbing clicking and pulling what you can do is double click and then you double click Excel automatically resizes the column to fit the biggest <coughs> or longest string of text or numbers so in this case in this column we see that this cell actually is the longest string so it, when you double click in between the letters B and C up here you'll it'll resize that uh, column to fit everything in there and you can also do that as a group so you can highlight all the columns that you're interested in resizing go in between any of them it doesn't matter which one and instead of dragging like we did before you can double click and it automatically resized all of them to fit all the text in each respective one and the same thing can be done same concept can be applied to rows the only difference is with rows you rarely have this problem because the height of text and the height of numbers is usually the same unless you've made some of your fonts extremely larger than in one row than in another but usually that's not really a problem so just to show you briefly you can highlight all the rows and resize or you can double click and they'll best fit and you can also do that with one let's say you just want to make the first row a little taller because you're going to change the orientation and I've done a video on changing the orientation of the header row and maybe you want to center this and bold this but the rest of the rows you want them to be exactly the same so by chain by highlighting all of them and changing it at one place all of them will get become that same exact height okay so I hope this was helpful uh, I know uh, resizing headers seems like a very beginner thing to do resizing columns and rows but uh, it's actually quite useful and uh, uh, time-consuming and uh, I've actually uh, comes up a lot and if you know how to do it quickly and smoothly in one shot then you'll save yourself a lot of time and aggravation okay so till next time check out my other Excel access PowerPoint math statistics and other computer tricks videos and subscribe to the channel and click on our sponsors ads that's what keeps these videos coming to you for free until next time have a great day